Hi there. When we create an array in VBA programming, zero is a default base of an array. To avoid it, we can use option base one. Let's take a look. Let's create an array and put it here. I will open our Visual Basic Editor, Alt F11, insert a module, collapse the window, and this one as well, we do not need it. And we will start our set procedure. Let's name it as Test Array. We'll start with dim our variable as integer and our variable is an array where two is number of rows and the second two is number of columns. It means here we will have two columns, two rows and two columns and we will put here our array. And then let's define our array. So the first line is one comma one which means the row one and the column one. So if we will start here, it will be this one. It will be equal to 15. The second line is one comma two. What it means? It means that the row will be the same one, but the column is two now. And this one will be 13. The next one, is two comma one. It means that the row will be the second. It is this one. And the column will be one, the first. It will be 10. And the last line is two comma two. It means this one, right? So, and let me put the next line. The next line is basically this range B1, C2, where we will place our array. And let's start test it. F8, and we have here our variable, our array. And we see that it starts with zero. And instead of two numbers, we have three starting from zero because zero is the default base of an array. And what happens? Let's continue testing. And we see that all our numbers are put in here, right? But the zero, we also present it here. So it means that by default, zero means the first number. So here it is the one comma one will be zero. This one will be zero. Then one comma two will be zero, this one. And then one comma three will be zero but we didn't define it here, so it will not appear in Excel. And then we'll continue and say two comma one will be zero, this one. And two comma two will be 15, this one, C2. Let's stop testing and let's run a code. And here it is. So it is not what we are expecting, expecting, right? So to avoid it, let me clean here. To avoid it, we can use option based one. And now let's click inside of the code and let's start testing it again. F8, we'll open our way up our A and we can see that we have only two lines, right? 
the zero disappears. Let's continue. Now everything works. As we can see, it is the same as here we have. Okay, let's stop testing and let's click again inside of the code and let's run it. And now it works. And that's all. Thank you for watching.